we celebrate an event that is called the festival. And the festival is the event when we come together and we speak about the theme of the month, we brainstorm again, and we celebrate a whole month of uh, work, of teaching, of learning, of participating into sessions and sharing our knowledge with each other. So the program for today, it will be an introduction and then we will have a song that is going to be uh, sung by uh, Anis. And he said to me the title, Songbread for the English band Oasis. And then we will have, we will speak about the choice of the theme. Why? Because you know, the, the thing is that in LP now, every month we have a theme. All our teaching is based on this theme. So this theme or the theme for this month of March is, uh, beauty. So we are going, or Rosemary is going to tell us a bit about beauty and why have we chosen beauty as, as uh, the theme for March, uh, March uh, month. Third, we will play a video of an old man speaking about beauty. So first of all, you are going to see the appearance of the man and you are going to tell us your impressions. And then you are going to play the video and at the end, you are going also to tell us what his words or what change did his word make in your opinion or your impressions. Fourth, we will discuss, uh, sorry, at uh, fifth, five, we will watch a slideshow. You know that these couple of days, I've been asking you to share with me a picture that represents beauty for you. And I've been collecting those pictures from you and I have worked on a slide. So I am going to uh, share it with you. And I was so amazed and I thank all of you for the pictures you have shared with me. Uh, and then we are going to close uh, with Rosemary and with a, with a meditation from Rosemary. Uh, if there is something else that I have uh, missed in the program, maybe Rosemary can uh, highlight it. If not, we are going to start by welcoming you. So my name is Sabrina and I am the Alpinal Program Coordinator and i welcome all of you from everywhere and i thank you for coming today i know that it's not the same time in your country so i thank you for coming uh, at this time i thank you for your participation for for the whole month during the whole month of march for being here to share your experiences uh, to share with us your knowledge to teach us to uh, to learn with you and from you. And about uh, the theme of the month, beauty. Beauty was the theme for March and beauty is a fact, or in fact, the name of our higher self as Rosemary uh, tells, and the planet Earth and the faces of love. So beauty and love go together. Experiencing beauty every day. We all experience beauty every day. It can be in a rose that we smell or we are we have been offered. It can be in the in a pet that is welcoming us home after a long working day. It can be in the appear in the appearance of nature, uh, the power, uh, whatever. So this beauty enhances our experience of life. And today we are going to learn how beauty is the name of peace. Uh, I think that I would like to introduce for you Mr. Ennis from Algeria, who is a guitar player and who is here today to share with us a song that represents beauty for him. Maybe Ennis, before the performance, you can say something about the song and the choose the choice of the song about yourself, and then we can start. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. So first of all, I would like to say to welcome everyone. I'm so glad to be here. Uh, it's a such pleasure uh, to be and it, it's a such grateful moment for me to be uh, to attend to this kind of meeting and to be surrounded by such lovely people. So uh, for when Sabrina asked me about a uh, playing song for uh, for your program or for uh, for this meeting, so I was starting to figure out and to think and to go through my songbook, which is quite tiny, you know, because I don't have a very wide songbook about songs that I can perform. So for this time, I picked up a songbird from the British band Oasis. So just to let you know, Oasis was a band from the 90s. 
formed by two brothers from Manchester called Liam and Noel Gallagher. So this band was, let's say, defined it and uh, rather described it as the Beatles of the 90s. And this song wasn't a mainstream success uh, hit for the band. Uh, because the band is very known for some universal uh, songs or for some bestseller uh, music such as Wonderwall or Don't Look Back in Anger. But however, uh, why I choose it? Uh, songbird because when I went through the lyrics I found that this song it's let's say a kind of um, we can describe it as a fee as let's say a, a song of beauty or as a, a soft poem talking about about some soft things coming from nature so as you can see songbird it's uh, it's someone who is talking about the whispers of uh, a bird and also the song of uh, birds and the happiness that uh, soft things from nature could bring us. So enough waste of time. <laughs> Let's start just the performance. Um. Talking to the songbird yesterday Flew me to the place not far away She's a lyric pilot in my mind I'm singing song of love to pass the time I'm gonna write a song so she can see I'm giving her a love she gave to me I'm talking about the day I've yet to come I've never felt this love from anyone She's not anyone She's not anyone A man can never dream these kind of things Especially if she came and spread her wings Whisper in my ears of things I like then she flew away into the night Gonna write a song so she can see I'm giving her out the love she gives to me I'm talking about the day I've yet to come I've never felt this love from anyone She's not anyone She's not anyone, she's not anyone. Thank so you. that's it. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. How does it feel? Um, it was, <laughs> Thank you let's so say, much. Quite Thank tough. you, it was lovely. Yes. And it was quite tough for me, uh, even though I'm singing, let's say, in uh, in a form of uh, distancing or online performance. But it's um, it's it's always sensitive and wonderful to perform in front of people and to share, let's say, my passion toward music. And uh, also, it's a, a such intimate moment for me. Well, it was obvious. Uh, I uh, I am glad. I think we are all. We have been all. Uh, we have been glad to hear you performing this. Thank you so much for sharing. It was nice. You're most Thank welcome. You. I hope it is. It's not going to be the last time. So we are keeping you <laughs> for all. Questions. So I, I would love to do another performance. So uh, just just ask me to do it, and I would glad to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, deal. Thank you. So we are going to move on. The second part will be uh, for Rosemary to intervene and tell us about the choice for the theme of March that is beauty. So Rose Rosemary, why uh, in Alpinau for the month of March did we choose beauty and what does beauty represent in the metaphysical world or into your eye? And tell us something about this beautiful world. We need it. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Um, yeah, we have, since we started, we're focusing on peacemaking. You know, what is peace? How do we make peace? How do we create it? 
how do we experience it? And there are many ways of being at peace and of experiencing peace, helping other people to experience peace. Uh, we've looked at love and diversity and vision and light. And this month, it seemed like beauty was a good subject, you know, a good aspect of peacefulness to um, mm -hmm. consider, to reflect on, to meditate on. And I have to say that as I've been, you know, just coming back to the thought of beauty as an aspect of peace and asking myself, so what is beauty? You know, when is something beautiful? It's not an easy question or answer um, that I've realized <clears throat> more than anything, I think, that um, when something is beautiful, we have a sense of, our, sen our sense of potential opens up. And when we see something beautiful, it helps us to open up and to appreciate and wonder at the abundance of opportunities in the world, in our life, to be happy, to be um, harmonious, to be whole, to be at one. So it's a, it's a perception of possibilities beyond the everyday physical, where everything has an opposite. I can tell you any word, and you can immediately think of its opposite. That's, that's the definition of life in this physical dimension that we inhabit as embodied beings. And when we move to a higher dimension where spirit and potential are what we tune into and become aware of, the opposites, the negative opposites all go away. And so when we see something beautiful, I think it reminds us, inspires us to think of something wonderful of that is possible that we weren't necessarily thinking about before. So uh, Anise, your song, Songbird, where is the opening to the potential in that song? For you. So as I mentioned, so for, so as I mentioned for me, uh, this song is let's say is very meaningful uh, song because uh, how can we say about this song? It, it, uh, according to my understanding, so for this song, beauty can find can be found everywhere. And for, for and for me, I do believe that the first uh, or the first source of uh, beauty uh, might be the nature. So, uh, for example, if people are looking to step out from, uh, let's say, from a tough uh, day-to-day life or from uh, or from the roar of the civilization, so what they do, they escape to the nature. And then nature, it's make us speechless in front of the beauty. So, and everything, everything who belongs to the nature is for me, is indeed beauty, represent beauty. It's, uh, it's an expression of beauty. And that's why I, uh, I do believe that a songbird or songbird is, uh, is a kind that it's the sound of the beauty. Because since, for example, that we are in spring now, that we are in the spring uh, season, so I really appreciate the, uh, the early uh, 
hours of the morning when I hear when I hear the birds singing and what it's it's a such feeling that makes me love nature that give me hope uh, that uh, let's say that push me up to be to 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 live or to have a reason to live or to maybe to to be in front of this life or uh, to to find out the beauty of life mm -hmm. i agree with you i mean that's that's really the it's both a function of beauty and it's the mm -hmm. function of peace or harmony is to wow to give us a sense of wonder. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> we can find beauty, yeah, nature for sure. I mm -hmm. mean, just going outside and sitting next to a tree, you know, you can feel a different energy. Um, some of you may not live, hi, Laura, in places where there are trees, mm -hmm. but there are, there's always beauty in undisturbed natural settings. And so um, I assume that when people show you the, uh, you know, the pictures when, uh, okay, people are beautiful. What do you think about this guy? What do you notice about him before we hear him? So he looks to be a happy person. <laughs> That's the first thing that struck because me Because I, I, I can now, uh, for example, I can, I can see or visualize uh, a little piece of smile and uh, maybe he's hiding uh, such great happiness inside him. So yeah. I would say that I would say that this person is happy with himself. Okay. Anybody else like to comment or point out what what you're noticing particularly as you look at this guy? Um, Lisa? Um I think the first thing that I notice about him is that he's leaning toward whoever he's talking to. So he's, he's interested. And he has amazing crinkles by his eyes that just, I don't know, yes. they, they, there is something there that's going to sparkle. Yes. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> I think his, his eyes show a lot of love and hope. Yes. Anybody else? <coughs> I, uh, you, yeah. I, okay. Go ahead. Abu, yeah. Wait, Abu. Let's please go ahead. I didn't hear what you said. I I think the way he looks, uh, he, his face shows us that he is a very uh, how can I say it? he's a very uh, I lost the word. He's a very what? Mm -hmm. I... Okay. Thank you, Chris. Okay, uh, I think uh, he look like a beautiful soul. Uh, he look like happy. Yeah. And have a peace of mind. Yes. There is, and you, everybody was right. There is something about his eyes. That's what I noticed when he, his picture flashed like, on the screen. He looks like he doesn't care what other people think about him, his appearance or anything else. He looks like he's just happy with life and he's a happy-go-lucky guy and he rolls with the punches. He just, whatever happens in life, he's okay with that. Right. So he's got a kind of a bedraggled beard and we don't know his clothes aren't anything special. 
for sure. But wow, what we see is his eyes. And his, what his eyes tell us is happiness, joy. And apparently that's pretty universal. That's what everybody who spoke up has said. We all noticed that about this guy. Wow. So now let's see what his what he's saying. Okay. What alternative uh, society and culture? Well, do you, one, that, one that doesn't make guns and bombs, one that's not at war with itself constantly, one that doesn't poison the air, doesn't poison the land, doesn't poison the sea, one that has enough respect for each other and the planet we live on and all the other life forms that share this planet that we live on, one that has enough respect for all of that to live in a way that's completely sustainable, that is beneficial to all of life, so that mankind becomes a, a symbiotic life form that's supporting the life of its host planet instead of being a parasitic life form that's devoiding its host planet of its ability to support life. At the mm -hmm. moment, I'm sat on a train going to Auschwitz, and I know that there's gas ovens at the end of the line. Uh, I can't think of anything that makes me happy on this journey. There's nothing to celebrate. There's nothing to rejoice about. What would make me happy is the idea of having a future. I'm watching it getting taken away more and more every single day. The main way in which do you think people could bring about this change or start to bring about this change in their habits? Just simple things like looking down, seeing a ball, looking up, seeing a bubble, and not seeing the artificial boundaries that man has put on this planet. That would be a good start. Because I don't live, I'm not English. I speak a language called English. But that's it. I speak a language. That language doesn't make me. I don't want a ball in a bubble. I don't recognize a nation, a nation state. I want to live in a world where everybody I see is a friend. So money has no value between friends. We help each other for the love of them. Nothing more, nothing less. I need to be looking after the whole planet, so I've got to find a way of making friends right around the whole planet. Not just on this little bit of it, because if this little bit changes and the rest of the planet carries on going to hell, then this little bit gets dragged along with it. So maybe it's changing the way that we perceive the world that we live in. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. So, what do you think? <clears throat> Is the happiness and the love that we all saw in his eyes, is that really what he's about? Uh, yes. I would, I would say yes, but uh, beyond, the hap beyond the beauty and the happiness, he seems to be someone who has a strong belief, someone who has strong belief on some uh, universal values because he was talking about uh, living peace to go over boundaries, wherever it's political or even individual or, or personal boundaries. So he's kind of the person who is promoting peace, who is promoting the brotherhood all around the world, wherever you are coming uh, from this continent or you are speaking this language. So everybody uh, should be equal and should be considered as a human in his mindset and his understanding. And, it, and what is a wonderful uh, belief? Well, he articulated beautifully the underlying goal of living peace now where as we meet and become friends with people from around the world we can together appreciate each other appreciate our planet appreciate the beauty that can and does reside in people in animals in plants in the planet and become peacemakers. I loved it when he said, I'm not English, I just speak that language. 
and that's it. <laughs> he, he speaks it as a native English person, mm -hmm. but to think of himself, I'm not English, I'm human. I'm a resident of Earth. And you know, it's a so, it's a such strong and wonderful belief to have uh, to maybe to to have this thought in. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, at the beginning we were saying that he looks to be happy with himself. Now I do understand why he is happy with himself because he maybe he finds the peace or the internal peace with his soul and he's trying to promote it all around the world and asking people to behave like him okay so let me ask you how happy are you with yourself uh, I, I would say that um totally happy with myself as long as I'm doing what I love, as long as I'm surrounded uh, with my beloved ones and also with uh, such lovely and uh, beautiful friends and people and uh, also being, let's say, involved uh, in um, several and plenty activities in order to make other people benefit from them. Right. Who else? How happy are you with yourself and why? I'm happy when my cat sheds all over me because I love her anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're happy because she loves you and you love yes. her. Yes. She wants to be here in my lap and she loves to jump up here. And so, you know, what can I say? I'm not going to refuse. I'm going to say, okay, fine, come up here, get hair all over me. I don't care. So, okay. yes, are you looking at me? Thank you. Who else? But oh. as far as the man goes, I can talk about him too. So well, that is more the topic. About you now. Well, that's true. Um, but the man and our friend Anise have both said what I feel, which is I love to make friends all over the world because that makes my life richer. I enjoy meeting different people from different countries because it just makes my understanding of them stronger. And I love um, communicating with different people that don't understand Americans or don't understand English and helping them understand these things. I think that's fulfilling for me, whether I get paid for it or not. If it's free, that's okay too, you know, to some degree. Because I want to have people um, understand where I'm coming from and I want to understand where they're coming from. And as long as we have a mutual understanding and this is our purpose, then I'm happy to, to be here and anywhere else. Cool. Who else would like to weigh in on this? Lisa? Yeah, I can say that there have been a lot of times in my life when I would say I was not happy with myself or my situations. Um, but right now is not one of those. I'm very happy with myself. I'm very happy with my situation. Um, and that makes everything in life better. Mm -hmm. It's, it, um, I'm studying things and they all seem to coordinate, even though they're different topics. They all seem to be pointing me in the right direction or in the same direction. Um, I, call, I call that serendipity. Yes. Um, or synchronicity. Yep. And, and those are two things that when that happens, it makes everything so much better. And my brain opens up and I go, wow. Yeah, right. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with where I am and what I'm doing. And the fact that I can promote peace and meet people and talk and be understood is it, all part of that wonder. Yes, thank you. Beautifully said. One more person. Who else? Oh, Sabri, you've got your hand raised. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
uh, I was not happy because uh, uh, I didn't uh, know the way to communicate with others and I faced it uh, trouble to deal with others and to understand other people. But now I feel happy because uh, I made friends, online friends, and I know new teachers and from different countries. And I'm glad with them um, because they daily, daily want to help me. So I'm very happy right now. I feel happy. And also I'm, I'm saying to myself, uh, a new day will come and everything will achieve, even dreams and goals. And yes. I, believe that. I believe that by uh, to be together with friends and helping each other, everything will solve soon as possible. Awesome. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity. Okay, so um, I'm gonna turn it back to Sabrina for the next. Uh... All right, so thank you everyone. And today uh, or now we are going to see a show sl slideshow. This is a collection of the pictures I've uh, received from you. So you're going to see the picture that you sent me with your name. At the end, I'd like you to tell us something about the picture and how does it represent beauty to you. It was lovely, lovely, lovely. You have been sending me pictures from all over the world, different things, nature, your pets. You will see. I'm not going to be long and we will see this together. Okay. Wow, that's an amazing slideshow. It was amazing with a picture that I've been receiving from all of them. So yes, Laurel, thank you, Rosemary, Laurel, uh, Ginesh, Daoud Yasser, Nelson, Asmao. Uh, I couldn't reach to uh, you, Lisa and Karen because simply I, you are not in the WhatsApp group, but I am, if you want, I can add both of you to the WhatsApp or Telegram group, if you have Telegram. And when there will be activities such, uh, such as this, we can also collect things from you. All right. Okay. So, so maybe we start with you, Laurel. Laurel, you have sent a picture from the USA and I'm sure it was an instant picture. You have taken it the, the, the same day because I saw it on the group with a video. Unfortunately, I couldn't attach the video to the slideshow. I wish if I could, but tell me something about the picture and, and beauty. 
Well, I like to go to this place to walk. It's around a lake and it's beautiful. North Carolina is a beautiful place to live, as Rosemary can tell you. And um, it is a wonderful, there's so many trees and we were trying to identify each tree. There's one that's called the beach. So you can say, I'm going to the beach and you're in front of a tree. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, so then there, but there's so many other trees and then there's uh, so much uh, just beauty and the birds singing and the wind rustling. And my husband and I went for a walk Monday morning and I took a picture or two and then I took the video. It's like a 20 second video and you could hear the birds and you can see the trees rustling in the wind. And it's just so pretty. It's just such a beautiful experience just to walk. And so um, I just decided to capture that moment. Great. Thank you. Thank you very Uh, much. Yes. Yes, sir, Daudi, you have shared with us two pictures from two different cities in your country, Algeria, our country. So what does it represent to you? Yeah, the best place. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yes, this is, yes, they are the best place in the desert because in Algeria, this contain I love, for example, in Algeria, the mountain, the green mountain and the desert. And the one is in my, in my original city, my native city in Wargla, which is the desert of uh, sand, which uh, which is for, for me in the winter, we spend all the weekend there, which uh, far from the city, from nose of the traffic, everything, which the place where I, I relax that. And when I will be in, in North, I prefer I, in the weekend to go work in the mountain, in the in the green mountain, see the tree, enjoy the life, that's it. Yeah, I, it's remember me of, I forget the, the third picture, I forgot to send it to you, which uh, the best place which uh, market, which is marked in my mind uh, since 2010. I've been in South Africa. I discovered the great mountain, which is called Table Mountain, Table Mountain. You know, I spend all the day there, all the day from the morning until the night. I, w- I was the last one who left their place. It was extremely good because I like, I love, I love that. Uh, even that in the in the in the in the normal days, I prefer to practice sport there in this kind of place. Yes, the place where I feel good, feel very very relaxed. Yeah, the place for me. Thank you. Yeah. Is it a source of happiness for you? Yes, sure. It's all the happiness. Where so you know, sometimes you know, this is the, the you know in the life. Sorry, we, we, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sorry, it's, you know, sometimes in the in the life on during the life, uh, busy would work. We feel something, sometimes like uh, fed up, uh, tired. Uh, if when I go to the to, to those kind of place, you know, I bid all the pressure of the life, all the pressure of the year there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. sure. Yes. Yeah. It- such a relief. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. By the way, Asma, by you the have way. shared with us three pictures in your country. Yeah, uh, Can you tell us some, what, what, how does it represent beauty to you? Uh, sorry, Miss okay. Sabrina. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Mrs. Sabrina. By the way, you are, you are the most welcome. We, in the, in the desert, when you feel the desert, all you, Laura and all the team, you are the most welcome. <laughs> yeah, okay. I will bring Laurel. I, I, I from Turkey. I'll go to the USA. Bring Laurel. Yeah. Rose, no, yeah. Yeah. I will be more than happy. Yeah, I will be more than happy. You are the most welcome. Thank yeah. you. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, as now, yes, you were saying. Asma. Hmm. There she is. I will maybe move to you, Nelson, waiting for Asma to be back. Nelson, are you here? Do you hear me? Yes, Sabrina, I can hear you. Yeah. How are Hi, you? Nelson. How are you doing? Well, good. Thank you. I've been watching your Spanish videos the whole week. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nelson, you have shared with us two pictures. One, uh, one picture was your uh, your doggy, your lovely yes. doggy, and the second one was uh, a garden. So, could you tell us the name of your doggy and uh, that it is beautiful for you? 
Uh, the name of my uh, little dog is uh, Tiara. And mm -hmm. it was like I sent a message that she had something very peculiar, that she's very affectionate with the, the children. You know, I don't know why it was the first one that I have a dog, that she's very peculiar with all the kids and all the children. I don't know why, mm -hmm. you know. But she's very happy with the kids, the little kids, about one to three years, five years. I don't know why, but she had something very peculiar, you know. And mm -hmm. like I say, like I literally say in the Lord's class, that uh, the beauty is, depends on the eyes of the beholder, you know. And we can see this kind of things, this kind of uh, beauty in the, the beauty in these kind of things. Like when a dog has this kind of uh some things that to share with the kids you know, with the people you know you so you see everybody all uh, from like uh, usually all dogs are very aggressive you know but this one has something very peculiar i don't know why you know but uh, i see also i also see the um, the beauty and the nature you know in in all over the world you know, we can see different kind of things about beauty, but it depends, like I say, I usually say it depends on the eyes of the beholder, you know. And I, I want to add one more thing, you know, as I get to know about this organization, you know, so I feel that like I admire you when, when you talk about beauty, when you talk about peace and this kind of work, like especially in these difficult times, you know, and I appreciate it. I, I appreciate that so much, you know. Good. And I feel so nice and to share in sometimes to you with you talking about all, all these beautiful things, you know. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Asma, are you back? Asma, are you ready to talk? I was saying that sometimes uh, people go there just to enjoy the nature because it's very beautiful. And the mountain is uh, also constituted by the iron. A lot of uh, companies are fighting to, to exploit it. And the two others there are, I don't know how to say it in English, but in French, we call it a uh, shoot. Yes, the, the fall. Way, uh, the water is fall. Yeah. That's just beautiful. And the, the, the color of the water is beautiful. Yes, we have all seen that, all your pictures. Thank you, Asma. Um, Jinesh I'm and sorry Chris. for the internet. Never mind, it's okay. Jinesh and Chris, have you uh, shared pictures? If not, you can just tell us, you can tell us or picture something for us and tell us what is it about, what is it beauty to your eye? Good evening all, my name is Jinesh. <clears throat> uh, I have shared uh, the picture of a, the feather of a peacock in the background of uh, in the sunrise, uh, on the background of sunrise. Now of late, uh, I have been uh, joining many uh, communities on Facebook of beautiful pictures of world, uh, nature, etc., etc., etc. So uh, daily wise, I get the beautiful pictures across the globe. So this picture, I was stunned by the skill of the photographer and uh, the background, there is uh, the, the sun rises and the, the beautiful, the, the beautiful uh, the feather of the uh, peacock is laying down. And I'd say, I believe there is a hope to see the, uh, the it's a rise, that means it's a hope, new hope to see the, uh, see the beauty of the life and uh, we need to cherish these small moments as well. Uh, I think that these photo, the, the beauty, the beautiful photographs have got the effect on our brains if we focus for at least seven, it says that 17 seconds to one minute. If you focus on uh, beautiful pictures, it, it will have the positive impact on our brain. So every day I, uh, try to focus this beauty, beauty of nature, uh, and I share to my many friends as well. So when Sabrina said me, uh, said me to send 
I was very happy to send this picture uh, to all of you. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you. You are always profound as uh, we got used to your thinking and way of speaking. Thank you. Uh, Karen and Lisa, I know that I didn't have from you, but if I uh, would have a picture, what would it be? And to which extent does it represent beauty to your eyes? I mean, there's so much that's beautiful, but you can't see it, but where I'm looking right now, I'm looking at the woods and uh, I've become familiar with these trees like they're old friends, particularly during this past year. You know, it's almost like, I haven't named them yet, but <laughs> <laughs> they, <You> could. <laughs> I could, I could do that. Um, but they're just, uh, there's one that had a branch about this long and the squirrel gnawed it off, just ate it, the tree branch until it's like this now. And, but, but what was so spectacular about that is that the squirrel would lay down on it and he put his paw or hers, I'm not sure which, paws like this as if he were, or she was praying. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I would watch that on a daily basis. And it, I don't know, just very inspiring scene just to look out my window. So that's, that's part, but there's so many people are beautiful. Nature's beautiful. I mean, the world is full of beauty and it's, it's interesting. You would ask that because just this morning, I was wondering who wrote, um, for the beauty of the earth. The song, I don't know if you're familiar. I know that song. But yeah, and I looked it up and it was someone named, I believe it was Sanford. And there wasn't any spectacular story about it, but I read all the words to it. And if you have a chance, look up the words to For the Beauty of the Earth. Mm -hmm. Very nice It's a good song. song. Yeah. It's like an old Quaker hymn. It's, it's, you know, just very melodic and, you know, there's not yeah, anything. It, it, it was written, yeah, as a Christian hymn, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the words. Thank you. Hey, I uh, just had my son take down a picture off my wall so I can show you. Um, I've been spending every day in my backyard and enjoying it. For the past year, I haven't gotten to see my grandson very much. So this is a picture of my husband and my grandson. Aww. And to me, oh, they are beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. She's cute. What's she's, her name, Lisa? What's the name my, of her his, his name is Michael. Oh, yeah. And my yeah, husband my is Ken. This is Michael. <laughs> and this is Ken. <laughs> that is a great <laughs> picture. Isn't it? Yes, yes. it's a beautiful picture, picture it's because a, it's just, they are both beautiful people. Yeah, and they're so happy in that moment together. That happiness you know, is beautiful. Just, yeah, joy just shines out of that. So for um, Thanksgiving, actually, not really a, a special day you normally give people presents for, I had this made on canvas for my husband to hang next to his desk. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, so that was um, lovely. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, I, I have the gorgeous North Carolina backyard. I have the trees and, and the birds and all, and all of that. But my family is so beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. um, and also my friends and um, people I just see around. <laughs> that I don't even really know, um, have, have just interest and, and yes. interest for me is, is beauty. Right. Can I show my pictures? Yeah, sure. sure. Go ahead. Okay. So this is me and my dad when I was graduating from high school mm. and you can see, um, my hair, I still have the same smile, but my hair is a little, this is when I was really young, my mom and dad and my sister and I, we are all blonde, of course. That's I'm, I'm going back to my natural color all the time. And this is me and my dad in bed, snuggling together. Isn't that so cute? Yep. 
And then my sister and I with my mom and then me and my mom and dad. Oh, so for you, Laurel, tell us about how you feel when you are looking at those pictures. I feel nostalgic. I feel um, like I'm home with my family, even though they're not here anymore. My mom and dad are both in heaven. So I feel like I'm closer to them because they're not here anymore. But I look at these pictures and I remember the good times. So yeah. I, I okay. have a good feeling in my heart so, when I, when I right. see so, the, so they bring back beautiful memories. Yeah. There's beauty in so many aspects of life. Yes. It makes you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so uh, Zinesh, the yeah. song that you want to sing, is it religious? Uh, yeah, religious, and if you if I if you want, I can uh, sing other song as well. No, play it. We want to hear it. Uh, can I sing a religious song? It's a pure Indian classical music. No, you can just sing because on YouTube and huh? on Zoom, music uh, is challenging. Yeah, you need to do it right there yeah, where you yeah. are. Right there. Into I will. The I will sing. A, I will sing a devotional song. Because I'm learning this one. Banduri di kulu via vaya rama. 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 Banduri di kulu. Via Vaya Rama Rama Tunda Vindi Vani Tunda Vindi Vani Modalena Mada Tunda Vindi Vani Modalena Mada Tunda Vindi Vani Modalena Mata Dula Koti Nela Gula Jayunida Banturi Di Kolo Via Vaya Rama Banturi Di Kolo Via Vaya Rama Rama Roma Jamani Kanaka Jukamu Rama Bhaktudani Mudra Bilayu Rama Nama Mani Rama Nama Mani Varagad Kamiri Rama Nama Mani Varagad Kamiri Rajilunaya Tyagarajuni Banturi di Golu Vaya Vaya Rama Rama This is a uh, this is a devotional song towards Rama, Lord Rama. Thank you very much for sharing yeah. it. You sing beautifully, and it's a beautiful. Yeah, I, song. I, I learned this Canary music. This is called uh, Indian music, classical music, pure Indian classical music. I have been learning this uh, awesome. for past eight years. Wow, this music. Yeah, today yeah. I had class, online class, you, one hour. Well, you, my... you have a lot of skill in expressing. Yeah, so yeah, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Have really cultivated your skill yeah. in singing that. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank because you for listening to me. You 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 seemed very joyful. Yeah. Obvi that. Obviously, I, I am singing when I'm singing I'm out yes. of the world. Right. And today is my birthday as well. Today is my birthday also as well. So I thought I would explain my happiness towards you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Okay, so we are have reached the end of our time. Um, 
Sabrina, do you want to say anything else before we just express our gratitude? Close the meeting. I thank everyone for all they've been doing to make this happen. And I keep the end for you. You can uh, say something and close the meeting. Thank you, everyone. And I'm just going to say, wow, this was awesome. Thank you for sharing beauty with us all. It made everybody happy, I think. And what could be better? Thank you for all this kind of session. I'm very Yes. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. You've made my afternoon. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah. much for giving thank my you. chance to join this yes. conversation. Great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having okay. so, Thank you so much. It was a such joyful moment with uh, loads of uh, emotion and uh, I'm very happy to be surrounded by uh, such lovely people from all around the world. And uh, this meeting allowed me to find out more about the concept of beauty and also to, to have to share this beautiful moment. So, uh, and mainly the, the performance of, uh, of I, I, I can't spell your name because I'm just seeing, visualizing a, a brand of a phone. Yeah, <laughs> I right. don't... yeah his name uh, is Ginesh. Ginesh. Dinesh. Ah. My name is Dinesh. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. You're most welcome. So keep going, brother. Yes. Yeah, same same you're you. doing same. good. Yeah, same to you. Same to you. Keep it up. Keep the good work. Keep yeah. it up the good work. Yeah. yeah. And this, thank this you. is very special. Uh, Mrs. Laura, thank you too, because this session also made me happy to know that and to see my friend, which uh, it's been a long time I haven't seen him, uh, and he's and it's, I'm glad to see yes, you. It's been a long while. It's been a long while. So. Oh, my goodness. If you guys yeah. want to stay on for a bit and catch yeah. up, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. so, this was an opportunity. so it was an opportunity also to to meet uh, uh, an old date friend. So, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, more Beautiful. than 50 years. Is yes, more, more than the, 15 years, I think. Yes. And friend, friendship yeah. is another beautiful thing. Yes, yes. this is a kind of beauty. This is kind of beauty. I confirm that. <laughs> yes. So we, 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 we should schedule a, a topic or a meeting about friendship. So it would be great. Okay. Yeah. That's an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. um, we'll put it on the list. Oh, okay. We're just going, we're just about to start tomorrow, the theme of new beginnings. Ah, okay. Because it's spring. I mean, that's what a spring is. Yes, and it's the beginning, it's a time of, it's the beginning of beautiful things. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to play and explore and enjoy new beginnings starting mm. April 1st. And I look forward mm. to sharing that with all of you. Hmm. So thank you all. And thank you. Thank you too. Bye. Thank you bye so bye. much. Bye bye. Bye bye. And see you next time. Yep. See you.